Okay, we're going to do equations that have fractions in them, and we're going to focus with the fraction having a variable in the denominator. So the first fractional equation we have here, you should already be able to solve. You would say, okay, one way to do it is to get all the same denominators and then uh, get the uh, x to one side numbers on the other, or you could say, let's get rid of the denominators. So you could find the LCD, which is 12, and multiply everything by 12. So you go 4 goes into 12 three times, distribute the 3. 6 goes into 12 twice, distribute the 2. 3 goes into 12 four times, distribute the 4. So I'd have 5x, the 6's drop out. So subtract 4x, x equals 4. Now, if there's a variable in the denominator, you have to worry about the undefined. So either you're going to state the domain or you're going to state the undefined, depending on what the teacher is asking for. Let's do the undefined. So the undefined would be zero. So I cannot have zero be an answer for this problem because if you had zero in the denominator, it causes to be zero. But I'm going to multiply everything by 2x. So this would be x cancels 2 times 1 minus 2x cancels, that's 1, equals 6x. So 1 equals 6x, x equals 1 sixth. And that's okay to have it as an answer because it's not the undefined, which is 0. So the next one. Now you might want to factor the problem. Now, the undefined is going to be plus or minus 3, or you could say the domain is all reals except plus or minus 3. And the LCD is x minus 3, x plus 3. So the x minus 3s would cancel. You'd have 1 times x plus 3. All of it cancels, so you just have 2 x plus 3 cancels, so you'd have 5x minus 15. So subtract the x. This is 4x. 5x minus 1x. Add 15. This would be 20. So x would equal 5. And again, that number is okay because it's not part of the undefined, which is plus or minus 3. So we have done this before. So let's look at this one, the undefined would be a zero or negative one. So I'm gonna multiply everything by x, x plus one. So the x cancels, you'd have one times x plus one. The x plus 1's cancel, so it'd be uh, x times 4. And this, you just have to distribute everything, so it'd be 6x squared uh, plus 6x. So since the power's 2, I have to get everything on one side, either complete the square or quadratic formula. So uh, x and 4x is 5x. I'm going to subtract the x and subtract the 1. So I'd have 6x squared uh, plus x minus 1. So let's see. It's 3x and 2x. Again, quadratic formula might be a little fast there. So it would be one-third or negative one-half. Woohoo! And again, okay to use because it's not part of my undefined. 
So we're going to try something a little different. I have two more problems I want you to do, but I'm going to put that on a separate video, part two, to make sure I have enough time. So have a good day.